Hello, I'm Paul Dajczyk, founder of Elastic Steel Method of Athletic Conditioning. Today I'm going to talk to you about butterfly stretch. Some athletes need butterfly stretch and their skills and techniques can benefit from the butterfly stretch. Grapplers, for instance, other people just like to have it. Okay. Now let's talk about butterfly stretch and what it does. So here we have feet together, knees out to the side, and what we have is we have a at the hips and we have the outward rotation at the hips. A lot of people confuse and think that here we have flexion in the hips. In real life we have abduction, that means that we stretch the adductors. We have the outward rotation, that means that we stretch the inward rotators. Okay? So taking that into consideration, which muscles are we really stretching? The muscles that rotate in and the muscles that pull in. Now those are the muscles are all the adductors except for the lower part of adductor magnus. Okay, at the same time, pectineus also participate in restricting the stretch. Why are so many people struggling with the stretch? Well, the answer is, if you're not supported by anything, and you don't have your back against something, you're using the same muscles to hold you up. Remember, the hip, those are the hip flexors primarily, and the adductors that do the hip flexion. So those are the muscles that hold your body up. If they didn't hold your body up, you would fall back. Psoas also holds your body up, but it doesn't play in this equation too much. Okay? So here, you're here now. Suppose you're like this, right? You try to press your knees down. You're trying to stretch the same muscles that are holding your body up. So if you were to place your back against something, now at least those muscles don't have to hold you up. You can press on them and they don't have to hold you up because your back is supported, you're not going to fall backward. So now you can place the full pressure of your hands down. That's the first thing to do. Okay, it's a very basic thing to do. Next, what we can do is take something. In this case, I'm using an encyclopedia. Yoga block would work. Okay, now this is a small distance. I just separated my feet a little bit, but that brought them into greater abduction. That means greater stretch for the adductors, okay? and then you press here. Now, if you can press here with that extra separation, when you remove it, you press down, it becomes that much easier. Now, if you don't have anything to support your back, there's another option. And what you have to do here is actually lift your hips so that the angle, which is the same angle, now changes. Notice, by lifting from here, you're changing the angle. Okay. Now, I'm not using much of a height, just a little bit here. Most people who cannot do the butterfly stretch, they're going to need a significant height so that now their body goes from this position. The angle doesn't change between my hands. However, the whole thing turns. Okay? So now what you're going to have is you're going to have your body go over the base of support and into gravity, and you're no longer going to be holding it with the same muscles that you're trying to stretch. Now, a word of caution about this, when you do something like this, you're not going to feel it if you lift a little bit like I did, I just lifted a little bit, but if somebody lifts a lot, lifts their glutes a lot, sit on something high, like let's say a yoga block or two yoga blocks, and try to press down on the knees in this position, what's going to happen is the ankles and the feet are going to be in very bad position and very often this ligaments here are going to get stretched and then you're going to get more problems than you're asking for and you would wish that you never started working on the whole butterfly stretch to begin with. Okay, so the way to solve that is to place something under your heels. Okay, keeping your heels supported. Little toes on the floor but heels supported. Okay, when you do something like this and you press on your knees, you're no longer placing these ligaments in danger. Okay, so those are the three options. Now, all of this are relaxed stretches. As many of you know, I'm not a strong supporter of relaxed stretches. Relaxed stretches have their place, but there are other stretches that work a lot faster. The newest being kinesiological stretches. And I recommend that you look into it. I'm Paul Dajcik. Thank you for watching.